Well, welcome to the Startup Espresso. I'm Hall T. Martin, the host of the show, where we talk about raising funding for your startup and the time it takes to have an espresso. I hope you enjoy this episode. Hello, this is Hall T. Martin with the Startup Funding Espresso, your daily shot of startup funding and investing. It's important for investors to see your cap table in its fully diluted form. The total number of shares issued or are outstanding will determine the value of each share from which the shareholder can determine their percent ownership. For startups, issued shares and outstanding shares are the same thing. Authorized shares do not apply. In addition to the outstanding shares, you'll need to add options, convertible notes, restricted stock, and warrants. Options granted to employees must be counted. You'll need to include those that have been exercised and those that have not yet been exercised. Some unexercised options may never turn into shares as the granted options expired unused. Expired options unused will require an update to the cap table. Next, you'll need to convert the convertible notes into shares. Conversion to equity happens either on a follow-on fundraise or at the maturity of the note. Here, the convertible note will increase the number of shares on the cap table based on the investment and valuation cap of the note. You'll need to add restricted stock, which is often used instead of options for its tax benefits. And finally, you'll need to add the warrants. These are options to buy stock at a specified price during a specified period. So just like options, not all warrants may end up being used, but in a fully diluted cap table, show them as if they were exercised. Once the warrants expires unused, then it comes off the cap table. Thank you for joining us for the Startup Funding Espresso, where we help startups and investors connect for funding. Let's go start up something today. Paul T. Martin is the director of Investor Connect, which is a 501c3 nonprofit dedicated to the education of investors for early stage funding. All opinions expressed by Hall and podcast guests are solely their own opinions and do not reflect the opinion of Investor Connect. This podcast is for informational purposes only and should not be relied upon as a basis for investment decisions.